Antibodies are part of our immune system's repertoire to fight infections. Um, antibodies are proteins, large proteins, that are produced by B cells, plasma cells, healthy plasma cells in our bone marrow, and they are secreted into the blood and they are floating in the bloodstream. They're kind of waiting there for organisms like bacteria to come in and then they are labeling them for destruction. Technologies have been developed to clone the antibodies, meaning that the same antibody can be produced again and again and again in a petri dish. And even newer technologies have been implemented to change these antibodies so that they attack a very specific protein, for example, on the surface of a cancer cell or on the surface of a myeloma cell. And these cells are then labeled for destruction. There's already a number of monoclonal antibodies in later stages of development. There are the two most prominent antibodies at the moment called Darazolex, Daratumumab, and this is targeting a surface protein called CD38. This is an antibody that has shown impressive efficacy in large clinical trials. Another antibody that is already being explored in late stage clinical trials is called Emplicity or Elotuzumab. Again, Emplicity has also shown efficacy in large clinical trials. It has a license in the US and in Europe, but unfortunately it's not available in the UK at the moment. Monoclonal antibody therapies that are in development are often tested in combination with other drugs that we are already using in myeloma. A very interesting combination is with immunomodulatory drugs such as Revlimid and pomalidomide. These drugs are already known to activate the immune system uh, to a certain stage so that if they are combined with monoclonal antibodies, the response against the myeloma cells can be enhanced. And this enhancement of the effect, this synergy, is currently being explored in several large clinical trials. The monoclonal antibody therapies are a very elegant method because they are attacking a very specific marker on the surface of cells. Now, there are different markers that can be attacked, so one line of development is to actually explore different surface markers on the myeloma cells or combinations of those to see which is most efficacious to target. But there is also ways how the monoclonal antibodies can be further improved in terms of their efficacy. So for example, their half-life, the duration for which they stay into the, in the bloodstream, can be optimized. They can be labeled with um, certain toxins, meaning that they attract a toxic substance just to the myeloma cell to no other healthy tissue in the body and by that way kill it more effectively. And there is even a new generation of monoclonal antibodies that um, does something very clever in that it targets the myeloma cell and on the other end, on the other end of the antibody it attracts another immune cell, a T cell, which then again more effectively kills the myeloma cell and potentially even remembers features of that myeloma cell to go and kill other myeloma cells. Fortunately, most of the monoclonal antibody therapies have a very favorable side effect profile, meaning there's very few side effects. Because they're so specific, they are very likely to develop into a key tool in our toolbox for treating myeloma.